Hi, I thought I'd better record something because I've been here all day. I've done so much work, but I haven't actually recorded any anything to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> so today I came up and I've planted my first early potatoes. I've put some more onion sets in. I've planted out some cauliflower. I'm going to plant out some perpetual spinach and some some kale as well. I've had such a busy day but it's been lovely, I've done loads, I've got loads to, loads of work done, the kids are back at school. So Jamie's picking them up today, um, so it just means I can just stay as long as I want. Right, so we'll start with the greenhouse. Right, in the greenhouse we have some lettuce that I found in the bed that I've put the potatoes in, I hope it's lettuce anyway. I think it's lettuce. We had um, lettuce going in there last year. And I think it's just self-seeded. Um, there's bollocks looking quite canny there. Um, nothing's happened with the dahlia tuber, no tuber yet. Um, hostas are looking really good. Sweet peas are looking good and the cuttings are looking fabulous. Right, now we'll go around this way and I'll show you where I've put my first earlies. Well, that's what I've been doing today and there's my first earlies in there. This bed is about a metre wide and I've dug a trench about five inches deep. I've added chicken manure pellets and some fish blood and bone. In each of these trenches I'm only adding five seed potatoes. Um, you've got to make sure they're the right way up. Um, I've just covered them over and by the time you finish covering them there's probably about a foot of earth on top of them and I'll be doing all of my potatoes in the same way and um, the only thing I probably do differently is to add more fertilizer in layers on top of the potatoes and if you follow me up here The onions. Stay away, spuggies. Yeah, get away. Um, here we have kale in this one, spinach in that one, and these four are cauliflowers. Oh, I'm so tired though. But it's been such a good day. But there we go, and that's what I've been doing today. Doesn't that look fabulous? I used 20 millimeter blue water pipe for the hoops, and I cut it into one meter sections. The bamboo I use is usually one metre long and I cut that in half. We use scaffold netting to go over the top of the beds and the one we buy is two metres wide. And I usually cut that into about 160 centimetre strips just to cover the beds. You can obviously cut that to whatever size you need. I secure the front first using ground staples and we buy the six inch ones and then I'll go around the back and do exactly the same and just staple the net into the ground. They're just like a little prong. And then what I'll do is I'll come back around and I'll pull the, the sides around and staple that in and do the same around the other side. And then down the lengths, I'll just staple again just to secure it even more. You can do the, exactly the same using planks of wood or bricks or just whatever you've got lying around. I cover mine this way because everything just stores away quite nicely and it doesn't take up a lot of room. There we go. It looks bigger when I've got these in actually. I'll have to do the same over here. I'm thinking about doing another path all the way up here and sectioning it off like I've done there. I just think it looks better and it's more manageable. Yeah, looking good. So today I've also put another three rows of onions in one two three i found these in the back of the shed i totally forgot i'd ordered them last year i've already put two sets in and this is another set of stir on they're going straight in the ground and this is what i prepared last year i used fresh manure on top of the bed so it wasn't rotten down and i just left it on to rot down over winter I didn't 
count the onions that I've put into the ground. Uh, they came in a 500 gram bag, so each set is 500 grams. And I've done in each bed, I've done two rows apart from the last bed, which has three rows in. So I'd guess I'm guessing about 150 onions in in the combined beds. Plus, I've already got the five beds that I did previously. Join us today. I've had such a good day and I will see you on the next one.